We are done with the live streams, and we have all the crowns that we need to get everything, because I've already grabbed everything. I'm actually recording this before I've even edited, so I don't even know how long this video, or sets of videos are going to be, as I edit them all down. And I'm still not too sure if I want to actually show off the, uh, the full archives. Might do, but that's until this video actually comes out, because this is basically the best moments of that. And yes, we have everything. Welcome to my humble abode. Did you bring any new shiny crowns? It's got different voice lines every time you talk to him, but as you can see, I've already claimed it all when I was uh, with Meryl near the end of the second live stream. It only took two to get f everything. Uh, but yeah, we have, well, I've already shown off the sprint hat, you would have probably seen me wear it. But we've got tons of our items here. Including the golden crown. The lampshade brewing hat's actually quite a nice flair. So starting off, we got the blue comet and the ice hat. Uh, looks like a frozen book brewing hat with ears, but it's actually an ice hat. Transform into a box when you feel like it. Look out for the stars of the blue comet. Guess what? I've put them on. There's going to be a lot of cutaways here. The reason why I want to cut away and show off the hat itself is because with these ice hats and with these other flares... Oh, hello there. Yeah, I'm just kind of online because when you enter, you go into a random lobby. A bit mud. Anyways, um... <laughs> When you uh, have these flares from Vanessa's Curse, they're cosmetic. Because you look different when you use them. Hey kid, I got some rare collectibles in store for you. But I want those crowns first. Next up, we have the Rolling Heart die, which is like a very nice pink die. And a donut brewing hat, easy to make. Just dump sprinkles into a blender. It's very gelatinous looking, but that's actually just us bobbing around. We get a donut ready. Yeet! <laughs> Sprinkles everywhere. That'll be a tasty mess to get into, wouldn't it? What's this, Rugrats? What are you buying? Sorry, I've uh, always wanted to say that line. All right. So what have we got next? So we've got a spectral visor dweller mask. Peer into the spectral world with a stellar visor. And Burning Violet, a soft violet with a fiery slash of rogue, or rogue? I'm not entirely too sure. But, this is what we look like, and it's a very nice set of purple shades. <laughs> Get it, shades, because we have that. And we flip them on when we use them, and then flip them off when we don't. Nice animation along with. You bring me crowns, I give you the goods. Got it? Alright, now give me the goods. Actually, I already have them. Next up, we have the old film paint bucket. A grainy retro styled look, along with, well, it doesn't actually match, but I'm going in pairs here. The sp a bunny sprint hat, which looks like a win another ice hat, honestly. Hop into the fray with this bunny beret. It's. Did you consider that a beret? Looks like more of a uh, beanie. But, yeah, this is the old style effect. It looks like we were in an old cartoon. With decent shell shading, actually. Shell shading, I'm slurring my speech. But you know what this does, nothing really special happens. So, it's just a sprint hat. I think we've heard every dialogue he has available, but now we're on to the City Girl, a palette of soft pastel colours. And I think I completely forgot about this ice hat, so I'll pair it with this. I somehow completely skipped this, I'm an idiot. But it's fine, because we can actually see it, and it works well with this colour. Uh... Yeah, we're just an ice cube. But we do have an ice cube for a hat as well, I guess. We have our normal statue, but we're just posing with a big old cube on our noggin. And the goods we shall have, for now we're on the final ones. The lampshade brewing hat that I was already on about, enlighten your enemies. And the golden crown for getting a hundred crowns at least. As you can see, I'm a little bit over. That happens when you play. A very, very expensive aesthetic. Behold the golden lampshade. <laughs> we shimmer in the exact same manner that the crowns do. Like, we're one with the crowns. In fact, I might want to put the uh, crown sprint hat back on that, I think about it. But the lampshade! Brewing hat flare. I love this one. You know why? You chuck light bulbs. Reminds me of another hat that I actually cannot use at the moment. Because, you know, um... We're in Vanessa's Curse, and I can't use mod hats. Like Nico's hat that spawns a massive light bulb. Now they actually explode and do damage. 
I think they knew. So back in my punk outfit, you have to go to the corrupted cellar in order to get the set. Please, disregard my twitchy behavior. My body has been to places that have left a permanent mark. Yeah, clearly, considering you don't really sell badges anymore, you sell everything but. So, uh, it doesn't actually tell us how much they're worth if I've already bought them, but luckily I made a note of them. The sprint hat that I just used to run over here is like an old theatre bird mask. Uh, the Hawkeye from Twilight Princess? I don't know what you want to call it. Uh, I would call it the theatre mask. Hide your eyes with this feathery disguise. This costs 10 souls. You need 56 souls and 100 crowns to get everything, as I've specified before. But we also have another sprint hat flare, which is part of the punk set. The baddest girl set. I don't know what you want to call it, the gothic set. All the uh, uh, hats, all the costume items have different names. You also have the punk set veracity jacket. A remix, the deadly tag. This takes a little bit to build up. I'm guessing that this is just a different soundtrack that you hear when you're playing Vanessa's Curse. But obviously, we're not going to be doing that because I have this now, but I can at least sit here so you guys can at least listen to it a little bit. I've also noticed that the, uh, the text doesn't display in here for some reason. It was just easier to do it here so I didn't have to go back to the hub and talk to the owls. So the punk sprint hat, or the punk cap as I like to call it, is six souls. The veracity punk jacket is 15 souls, a very pricey item in the store. The remix that we just covered is uh, five souls worth. And then we have two stickers. The only two stickers in this DLC. Express your anger with this sticker. Who dares? Who dares enter my home? And we also have a sticker, Got You, to rub it in their faces. Both Vanessa themed stickers, which kind of makes sense. Both of these are worth three souls each. And then we finally have the Gothic umbrella for the baddest girl in town. Ten souls. Just get groans for the who days. It's the sound that happens when you get caught in a sneaking mission. A bit weird. The Gothic Umbrella is just that. It is an umbrella, so it's different from your normal umbrella. It does not class itself as a baseball bat because you do the smug dance. You don't hold it gangster style. But that's it. It's time to turn off the uh, online functionality machine. By turning it on and off again so I actually leave the lobby because it always spits you into a random lobby when you do that. We're now going to exit back to the hub because we're done with Vanessa's Curse. We have all 100 crowns and all the rewards that pertained with it as well as all 56 souls and we have spent them to get the punk set, a couple of extra flares, a remix and a couple more stickers. But we are still not actually done with a hat in time, because for whatever reason, Gears for Breakfast keep putting things in the game and making it so annoying to get everything. And that's going to be in a bonus episode of the main core game, the fourth bonus episode so far, following after online party, the uh, co-op bonuses, uh, the, the mod rift tokens to get mod timepieces, to the mod timepiece to get mod rift tokens in order to you know, get achievements and all that, and, you know, it, it just keeps piling on. And there's also some stuff through Steam itself, and even the Discord, that we got to cover. But for now, as I said, this is the end of Vanessa's Curse. That's a bonus episode I'm on about. So I want to pop in the Vanessa's Curse disc in one more time. And I want to go to the credits. So this, as I said, is a nice little online mode where there's no competitive play except for maybe how you move, but that just comes down to skill. There's no stats or anything that you need to worry about. The points don't matter. Winning and losing doesn't matter. All you need to do is touch players when you're on the bad side or collect crowns if you're on the blue side. So it's just fun to mess with. And all of these names, 
some of them you might find familiar, like e Epic Yoshi Master, Haboy. It's Mod Creator DLC. These guys, we've seen in mods. And it just loops. Oh, there's Wordy 100. There's Bit B. I think he did the voice for uh, Snatcher here. Star Blaster 64. Bonacle. Thanks to all these guys for bringing this to hang time. And this is only the first uh, modding creator DLC pack. There has to be more, surely. I think there should be at least two more in the pipeline. That would make sense. But I don't know. But yes, we're off. Now that we've finished off Vanessa's Curse, we're going to be back for one more episode. And that's going to take a bit because I haven't actually been participating in a community day events because I didn't even know that there was this thing in the discord that you could do in order to get something and only just recently recording this final part of this video did they announce that if you have at least f five points of community day participation worth of you can get something for the game so we gotta do that too See you guys next time. This game will never goddamn end. You bring me crowns, I give you the goods. Got it? Subcon Forest is full of scrap, and frankly, my cupboard's good to loosen up a little. So, are you ready?